Today, guys, we're going to talk about what software as a service I use to run remote companies. These are, you know, bolted on top of each other for a lot of different reasons. I'm going to show you the main tools. Obviously, in your niche, you're going to have your own uh, set of tools. Uh, but the main ones that really kind of um, grease the wheels uh, and help us kind of operate on a day to day basis and communicate, uh, I'm going to show you today. Uh, so let's get right into it. Um, the first one I'd like to talk about, uh, it's, is basically a, a, it's a, it's a phone system. Uh, it's a phone system that you can use. It's called dial pad. You can see on the screen here, I've got dial pad up. Um, and this is just like a phone, except it works, uh, on your computer, your phone. Um, and this is a backup to your regular phone. Uh, and the reason why is sometimes you're in areas where you can't uh, get good cell phone signal or the cell phone signal drops, but you've got good Wi-Fi connectivity. This is a very reliable platform. They've got great easy UI. People can text you on this number. You can send text to this number. You can also use it actually to separate out your you know, personal calls and your business calls if you're getting a lot of business calls uh, to, to your phone. So. Uh, definitely check out Dialpad. Uh, it integrates really nicely with all the Google products. Uh, it actually integrates right into G Suite. Uh, so you take a look at that. Their pricing here, um, I mean, there's not much we can do about the pricing, but it's it's not that expensive. You're looking at, you know, anywhere from 15 bucks uh, all the way up to 25. You can see the difference. But I've done a ton of research on the best kind of software as a service phone phone service and and these guys uh when it hands down reliability connectivity um you know being able to roam um you know there's other stuff like ring central and all that but uh in my opinion uh they suck um all right so that's your communication in in addition i, I did another video on kind of your phone data plan so it's in a separate video i'm not going to talk about your main phone plan dial pad your backup it's on your computer uh, and you can see it, you don't have to pick up your phone. Again, we're burning less cycles, right? I'm all about burning less cycles. All right, so the next thing is uh, Zoho. Uh, this is the operating system of mm, all my companies. Uh, it's basically a CRM. Uh, it has, I don't know how many different tools. We don't even use all of them, but what's really good is you get everything into one license. So it does your books, it does your uh, CRM, it does your website activity analytics, there's chat, there's, uh, you know, DocuSign, um, and you're only paying uh, 30 bucks per user per month. Uh, so I, there's no way I have enough time to go through any of this stuff in, in any detail, but just trust me, I looked at Salesforce, Hub, HubSpot, um, you, you name it, uh, there's, you know, sugar, uh, all these other things. Uh, this is the one we landed on. Uh, it actually took me about four months of training myself on kind of each one before we realized it. When we implemented Zoho in a previous company, um, we went from 6 million to 60 million in three years and Zoho scaled with us every step of the way. Now at that company, we didn't get to use all this other stuff. Um, you know, there's a financial uh, aspect to it. Um, there is uh, human resource. There's IT, the identity management. You can even build your own apps. Uh, you can see you can build your own apps uh, if you want. Uh, so much stuff. So if you need something to kind of start with, low cost. Uh, now, I've said this before. The UI is not that sexy. They've done a good job so far of upgrading the UI. But it's, um, I wouldn't expect, uh, you know, the best of the best UI. But uh, the pricing, um, 
you know, I'd rather have the money in my bank account than pay for an ICY. Uh, it's just me. Anyhow, uh, so check out Zoho. Uh, a lot of things going on there with, with that. Next thing uh, is your communication uh, internally. Uh, Slack. Uh, the reason why uh, we use Slack is because it works across all the devices, um, keeps a history of all the communication you've had, uh, and also developers love it if you work with developers, and it's got a lot of integration and development tools. But as a communication platform as a whole, it does a, a lot of things seamlessly. Right? That's the key, is that it seamlessly does these things, and you, you're not worried about you know, is it going to work? Is it not going to work? It just works. Attachments, uh, you can um, have groups, have different channels, client facing, internal. Um, so I definitely recommend Slack. Uh, it really does uh, speed up the communication when you just need to kind of instant communication back and forth. The next tool I'm going to talk about, you probably all heard about it, and it's um, it's widely available and known owned by Facebook called WhatsApp. Uh, we are huge WhatsApp users, um, and the biggest functionality of WhatsApp that we use is for asynchronous communication. Um, what, what I mean by asynchronous communication is, you know, I have something to say, I know you're busy, uh, so I am going to send it to you in a voice format, and you listen to it when you have time, and you can respond that way. What that does is it gets you moving the parts of working remote more fluidly. So we use voice notes in WhatsApp. You, you, you hold down the button when you're, um, when you're in the messenger and you can record a voice note and we use that to send that off and then that person could reply almost like a walkie talkie of type, but it's got a history of the conversation so they can go back and forth. Um, I could do another video if you guys are interested on how we do it to run sales, how we do it to run marketing, how we use it to um, just internal communication between us, um, how we can have multiple stakeholders in the same conversation. So WhatsApp is, is also a, a, a big one. Um, and then I think I've mentioned this, I mentioned this in another video, um, the corporate credit card, uh, you know, getting those expenses under control. Uh, I find is the single biggest wastage that a company has. So we built a few years ago, a corporate card called SpendHub. I think I've talked about it in another video, so I'm not really gonna go through it, but you can go with spendhub.net. It helps you control your spends. It's a card management platform. You can do physical virtual cards and all of the expenses go right into your backend uh, accounting package. Uh, it has literally saved me um, a lot of money. Um, with 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 SpendHub, um, one thing one thing SpendHub has actually helped me do is you know I've got I've got the you know black Amex but uh, don't use it anymore. Um, this year actually will be the last year and we're not going to renew it because it costs twenty five hundred bucks. So they actually increased the fee recently, um, and and so th it doesn't do uh, any of the expense management compliance make my life easier, right, uh, of saving money. Uh, helps me spend uh, pretty pretty good, but doesn't help me save that. So, and the final tool I wanted to, uh, software as a service, talk about is Google. Um, so the Google G Suite, um, I mean, you're probably already using it, uh, but we subscribe to One Level Up. Uh, so if we go to G Suite pricing here, we're able to see um, the, the different prices. So you got the business starter, which is six bucks a month. Uh, this basically gets you your own custom email domain. Uh, you can do some cloud storage. Uh, the one up from that is 12 bucks a month per user. Um, there's really not a lot of difference between the two other than more uh, storage. The business plus is where it gets interesting. Um, and this is the one, if, you're, if you have a lot of employees or you work with a lot of contractors and you wanna be able to keep tabs on what files they're accessing, looking at, deleting, uh, non-deleting and getting alerts, um, that's the one you should look at. I think the $12 one was just recently introduced that you can do that in the $12 one as well per person per user per month, uh, where you can kind of see that. If that's not important to you, then just go with the starter of the six dollar uh, plan. Uh, it gets you quite a bit of um, 
uh, professionalism uh, and access to kind of Google support. And, and that, that's what I would recommend uh, starting out. But then if, you, if you're moving up the food chain and you start needing those enhancements of the securities, then you've got kind of the business standard or the business plus. Um, the other, uh, the other uh, benefit is uh, I'm going to do a, a bunch of videos actually on the cloud-based collaboration of Google Docs, Google Sheets, uh, Google Slides, Google Forms, Google Calendar, uh, all those things and how to use them remotely and, and to make it easier for, um, for your folks to operate um, so you can kind of consolidate all that and obviously be, be, be more efficient, especially we've got folks in, in multiple time zones. So all this stuff really just helps you streamline your work, reduce the need for having to pick up the phone and talk to somebody uh, and then miss the call and I, you know, can you hear me? These are all cycles we're reducing uh, on this channel and teaching you how to be the most efficient um, uh, company uh, remotely. All right, thanks for watching, have a great day.